بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم دس فسٹ ویڈیو لیکچر آف ویک ٹویلو فار دی کورس ڈفرینشیل اکویشنس از دا کنٹینیویشن آف مائی پریویس ویڈیو لیکچر آف ویک الیون ان دا پریویس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ہیو آلریڈی لرن اباؤٹ دا سولوشن آف ہائر آرڈر نان ہوموجینیس لینئر ڈفرینشیل اکویشنس I have already told you that uh, for the solution of higher order non-homogeneous linear differential equations we find two solutions one is the complementary solution and other is the particular solutions in case of particular solution since we find the particular solution for the non-homogeneous linear differential equations of higher order so The particular solution is depend on the situation when the function f of x which lies in the right hand side of the given differential equations. So if the function f of x uh, is in the exponential form then how we can find the particular solution we have already discussed the case when the function is in the form of exponential function. So that is the case number one in no case number two is uh, when the function f of x is in the form of trigonometric function like uh, sine ax and cos ax so in this case when the function f of x is in the form of sine ax or cos ax then how we can find the particular solution this is actually no case number two If f of x which lies on the right hand side of the non-homogeneous linear differential equation f of x not equal to 0 because the equation is non-homogeneous. So f of x is in the form of trigonometric function like uh, cos ax or sin ax. If a is equal to 1 then sin x or cos ax. But if a is equal to 2, minus 2, 3 any values any real values then we can say that sin ax or cos ax then the particular solution will be equal to 1 over the differential operator into sin ax. So dear students note that the power of this d will be 2 e1. d has e1 power of 2. Then e1 power of 2 uh, say d square replace d square by minus a square you will get the particular solution. Suppose you see over here the particular solution for the sin ax 1 over l of d l linear uh, the operator differential operator 1 over l of d square into sin ax now replace this d square by minus a square into sin ax or cos ax now for example we have a uh, second order non-homogeneous linear differential equation y double dash plus 4y dash plus 5y minus 2 cos hyperbolic x now dear student this is not a trigonometric function this is a hyperbolic uh, function so we can uh, change this hyperbolic function into the exponential form as we know that cos hyperbolic x is equal to e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 so we can write uh, y double dash plus 4y dash plus 5y is equal to minus 2 into e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 now this 2 and 2 cancel uh, we obtain y double dash plus 4y dash plus 5y is equal to minus e power x minus e power minus x. Now this is the non-homogeneous linear differential equation of second order and at the right hand side we have exponential function. But this is the non-homogeneous. So the non-homogeneous equation have two solution complementary solution and particular solution. And the general solution of this differential equation is equal to y is equal to yc plus yp. Now, first of all, we have to find the particular solution. For the particular solution, take the auxiliary equation of uh, this uh, second order uh, homogeneous equation. Consider homogeneous di uh, homogeneous differential equation. Y double dash plus four y dash plus five y is equal to zero. Now, the auxiliary equation m square plus four m plus five is equal to zero. Now the complementary solution depend on the nature of roots of this auxiliary equation so first of all 
to find the roots of this differential uh, of this uh, polynomial m square plus 4m plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, by using quadratic formula, we can solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula m is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac under root divided by 2a. The value of a is 1, value of b is minus 4, and the value of c is 5. Now, putting the value of a, b, and c in this quadratic formula, you see over here we obtain uh, m is equal to minus 4 plus minus 16 minus 20 under root divided by 2. Now, 16 minus 20 is equal to minus 4 and uh, minus 4 under root mean plus minus iota 2. So, taking common 2 from this expressions, we obtain m is equal to minus 2 plus minus iota. So, the roots are complex and different. The roots are complex and different. Uh, alpha plus minus iota beta, the alpha value is minus 2 and the beta is value is 1. So, equating the real and imaginary part in this expression, we obtain alpha is equal to minus 2 and beta is equal to 1. So, the complementary solution uh, for the homogeneous part is equal to e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. Putting the value of alpha minus 2 and the value of beta is 1, we obtain the complementary solution e power minus 2x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. Now, we are going to find the particular solution. Since in the right hand side of the given non-homogeneous equation, we have homo uh, uh, exponential form. Now, the particular solution 1 over differential operator. Differential operator is equal to d square plus 4d plus 5 into minus e power x minus e power minus x. For the exponential form, this is actually case number 1. For the exponential form, we have already discussed they replace this d by this uh, argument a is equal to 1 e power ax. So, here the value of a is 1. Now, putting d is equal to 1. So, 1 square plus 4 into 1 plus 5 and now replace this d by minus 1. You see over here, uh, replace d by 1. You see over here, first of all, that the 1 over differential operator into the first term minus 1 over differential operator into the second term. Now, replace d by minus 1 in this first term and replace this d by minus 1 in the second term. You see over here, 1 square mean 1 plus 4 into 1, 4 plus 5. And minus 1 square mean 1, 4 into minus 1, minus 4 plus 5. And this implies that e power x divided by 10 minus e power minus x divided by 2. So, this is the particular solution. Now, the complete general solution of the given differential equation is equal to yc plus yp, complementary solution plus particular solution. The complementary solution is uh, e power uh, minus 2x into c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and the particular solution is uh, e power minus e power minus, uh, in minus e power x divided by 10 minus e power minus x divided by 2. Now, another example, d cube plus d square minus d minus 1 into y is equal to sine 2x. So, you see over here, this is non-homogeneous third order linear differential equation and in the right hand side, we have, a, we have a trigonometric function. So, this is the new case for today lecture, how to find the particular solution. In this case, we have, when we have sine ax or cos ax into the right hand side in the non-homogeneous equation. So, first of all, uh, find the complementary solution because uh, this non-homogeneous equation has two solutions, complementary solution and particular so solution. To find the complementary solution, first of all, take the homogeneous part. Since in the homogeneous part, you see over here, this is the complementary solution. For the complementary solution, take the homogeneous part, d cube plus d square minus d minus 1 into y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 is the trivial solution for this homogeneous part and for the non-trivial solution take the auxiliary equation m cube plus m square minus m minus 1 is equal to 0. The non-trivial solution of this homogeneous part depend on the nature of roots of this auxiliary equation. So, uh, to find the roots uh, factorize this uh, auxiliary equation taking m square from these two terms we obtain m square into m plus 1 and taking minus 1 from these two terms we obtain minus 1 into m plus 1 is equal to 0 and this expression can be written as m plus 1 into m square plus 1 is equal to 0. 
from m plus 1 is equal to 0 implies that m is equal to minus 1 and from m square plus 1 is equal to 0 mean m square is equal to minus 1 taking square root m is equal to plus minus under root minus 1 which is equal to plus minus iota so the other root is complex but different alpha plus minus iota beta is equal to 0 plus minus iota so alpha value is 0 and beta value is 1 so in this uh, third order non-homogeneous uh, linear differential equation you see over here uh, that uh, the homogeneous part has three root one is the real root and other two complex root and different complex root so the complementary solution will be one this part represent the, the real part c1 e power uh, m1x suppose m is the one single root so c1 e power mx plus e power alpha x into c2 cos beta x plus c3 sin beta x this part represent the uh, complementary solution when the roots are complex and different so putting the value of m minus 1 the value of alpha is 0 and the value of beta is 1 so you see over here the complementary solution c1 e power minus x plus c2 cos x plus c3 sin x now the particular solution this is very very important how to find the particular solution when in the right hand side we have a trigonometric function sin ax or cos ax so dear soon you see over here here the value of a is 2 now as i have already told you in the uh, first slide that how to find the particular solution for the case when sin ax or cos ax appear one over differential operator into sin ax and replace d square by this by minus a square the power of d will be e1 and 2 d has e1 power of 2 so in this term d cube so d cube can be written as d square dot d plus d square minus d minus 1 now replace this d square by minus a minus a mean here the value of a is 2 so minus a square mean minus 2 square minus 2 square mean minus 4 so replace this d square by minus 4 minus 4 into d plus d square replaced by minus 4 minus d minus 1 sine 2x now after simplification we obtain the new differential operator 1 over minus 5d minus 5 into sine 2x now how to replace how to find this uh, remaining particular part you see over here the power of d is uh, odd which is 1 and we have even power 2 for this d so for the even power of 2 dividing multiplying by 1 minus d this expression dividing multiplying by 1 minus d you see over here 1 over 5 into 5 1 plus d multiplied 1 minus d divided by 1 minus d the purpose of this uh, division and multiplication by 1 minus d is uh, we have to obtain we need to obtain the power of d e1 and 2 so we have to obtain e1 power of 2 for d so 1 minus d divided by 5 1 plus d 1 minus d by formula a plus b into a minus b we obtain 1 minus d square now replace this d square by minus a square so minus a square the value of a is 2 minus a square mean minus 2 power 2 mean minus 4 so replace this d square by minus 4 so 1 minus d divided by 5 into 1 plus 4 the value of d square is minus 4 minus minus plus 4 so this implies that the particular solution is a 1 minus d divided by 25 in d mean no d mean derivative 1 over d mean integration and d mean derivative of the sine 2x so multiplying this sine 2x with 1 we obtain sine 2x and applying this derivative with the uh, sine 2x for sine 2x apply this derivative divide by 25 sine 2x as it is and the derivative of sine 2x is uh, cos 2x in further derivative of the theta of the angle derivative of theta with respect to x derivative of 2x with respect to x we obtain 2 so the complete particular solution sine 2x minus 2 cos 2x divided by 25 now the general solution for the given non-homogeneous uh, uh, third order linear differential equation is uh, equal to yc plus yp this is yc c1 e power mx minus 1x plus c2 cos x plus c3 sin x plus 
particular solution. Sin 2x minus 2 cos 2x divided by 25. Now, another example, d cube minus 3d square plus 4d minus 2 into y is equal to e power x plus cos ax. And this uh, third order non-homogeneous linear differential equation, we have case number 1 for particular solution and case number 2 for particular solution. Case number 1 stand for the um, when f of x in the form of exponential and case number 2 when f of x in the form of trigonometric uh, sine ax or cos ax. So in this problem we have cos ax, a mean 1. Now uh, the complete general solution of this third order non-homogeneous linear differential equation is equal to complementary solution plus particular solution. First of all to find the complementary solution, for the complementary solution take the homogeneous part of this uh, third order uh, equations d cube minus d 3d square plus 4d minus 2 into y is equal to 0. This is the homogeneous part. Now this homogeneous part has two solutions. y is equal to 0 has trivial solution and for the non-trivial solution take the auxiliary equation. You see over here m cube minus 3m square plus 4m minus 2 is equal to 0. So to find the roots for the complementary solution to find the roots. Complementary solution depend on the nature of roots of this auxiliary equation. So putting m is equal to 1, suppose m is equal to 1, we obtain 1 minus 3 plus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0, uh, which is implies that 0 is equal to 0. So 1 is the root of this auxiliary equation. Now to find the other roots by using synthetic division, uh, we write the coefficient of m cube is 1, the coefficient of m square is minus 3, the coefficient of m is 4 and constant is a minus 2. Now this is the one root. So 1 is a, it is 1 multiplied 1, 1. Now adding these two terms we obtain minus 2. Minus 2 multiplied 1, again minus 2. Adding these two terms we obtain 2. Multiplying 1 into we obtain 2. The remaining term is 0. So now the depressed equation. Uh, this is the coefficient of m square, this is the coefficient of m and this is constant. m square minus 2m plus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can easily solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. m is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 is under root divided by 2a which implies that uh, the value of b is minus 2. So minus minus plus 2 plus minus 2 square minus 2 square mean 4 and 4ac the value of a is uh, the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 2, 2 for the 8. So 2 plus minus 4 minus uh, 8 under root divided by 2 and minus 4 under root mean 2 iota. So the roots 2 plus minus 2 iota divided by 2 taking common 2 from this expressions we obtain m is equal to 1 plus minus iota. So the roots are uh, real and complex. One root is real root, m is equal to 1 is the real root and other two roots are complex and different root. 1 plus minus iota. So the alpha value is 1 and the beta value is also 1. Now the complementary solution, two cases, one case for the real and one case for the complex root. C1 e power mx plus C e, e, e alpha x into uh, C2 cos beta x plus C3 sin beta x. m is equal to 1. So C1 e power 1x plus e power alpha. Alpha value is uh, 1. You see over here uh, e power 1 x into c2 cos 1 x beta value is 1 and c3 sine beta beta. So uh, c1 e power m value is 1. c1 e power 1 x plus e power alpha x. The alpha value is 1 e power 1 x into c2 cos beta beta value is 1 plus c3 sine beta beta value is also 1. So the complementary solution c1 e power alpha c1 e power x plus e power x into c2 cos x plus c3 sin x. Now to find the particular solution you see over here in the previous slide that in this differential equation we have we have one functions in this differential equation in this differential equation, we have one case exponential and other case is a trigonometric. So for the particular solutions, you see over here particular solution 1 over d cube minus 3d square plus 4d minus 2 into e power x plus 1 over d cube minus 3d square plus 4d minus 2 cos a x a is 1 here. Now replace this d by this one because this is the first case, this is the exponential case. So replace d by 1 we obtain 
1 minus 3 into 1 square minus 3 plus 4 into 1 4 minus 2 now uh, replace uh, uh, d square by minus a square the value of a is 1 so replace d square by minus a square mean by minus 1 but uh, we have odd power 3 so d cube can be written as d square dot d minus 3 into d square plus 4 d minus 2 so replace this d square by minus 1 we obtain minus d uh, plus uh, 3 in minus 3 into minus 1 mean plus 3 plus 4 d minus 2 now this is actually uh, minus 3 plus 4 uh, minus 1 minus 3 plus 4 mean plus 1 and plus 1 uh, plus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 minus 2 0 so this is actually 1 over 0 form and this is undefined now uh, differentiating uh, differentiating this uh, uh, differential operator one over operator one over differential operator this is actually effect uh, treated as an integration now derivate this expression d cube minus 3d square plus 4d minus 2 and taking x out of this uh, uh, diff, uh, integral operator so derivative by of this d cube mean 3d square minus 6d by power rule the derivative of d with respect to d is 1 so we obtain 4 e power x and the derivative of minus 2 is a 0 now you see over here in this um, term uh, factorize, factorization of these uh, terms can be written as uh, 3d plus 1 into 3d minus 1 this is actually 3d plus 1 4d minus d 3d and plus 3 minus 2 is equal to plus 1 so 1 over 3d plus 1 the power of d is odd and we required e1 power of e1 power 2 of d so dividing multiplying this expression by 3d minus 1 for the e1 2 power of d now uh, 3d square minus 6d plus 4 into e power x plus 3d minus 1 divided by a plus b by a minus b we obtain 9d square minus 1 now this is e1 power 2 of d e1 power 2 of d replacing this d square by minus a square and the value of a is 1 and you see over here in the next slide uh, x divided by 3d square minus 6d plus 4 e power x plus 3d square minus 1 divided by 9d square minus 1 cos x again replacing this d by 1 for the exponential uh, in the first expression and this d square by minus a square which is equal to minus 1 in the second term so x divided by 3 replace this d by 1 1 multiplied 3 3 and minus 6 multiplied 1 minus 6 plus 4 e power x plus 3d minus 1 divided by this d by minus 1 minus 1 multiplied 9 minus 9 minus 1 cos x 3d minus 1 d mean derivative now you see over here in this term x divided by 1 3 plus 4 7 7 minus 6 1 x by 1 e x plus d mean d by dx minus 1 into cos x now applying this derivative uh, for the cos x derivative of cos x uh, minus sin x and minus 1 multiplied cos x minus cos x so the particular solution x e power x plus minus 3 sin x minus cos x divided by minus 10 which implies that uh, taking common minus from these two terms yp is equal to x e power x plus 3 into sin x plus cos x divided by 10 now the complete general solution is equal to complementary solution plus particular solution which is equal to c1 e power x plus c2 cos x plus c3 sin x plus x e power x plus 3 sin x plus 3 into sin x plus cos x divided by 10 now dear students uh, you see over here uh, in this lecture that uh, the conclusion of this lecture is uh, how to find the particular solution when the non-homogeneous differential equation has trigonometric uh, function like uh, sin ax or cos ax in the right hand side then for the particular solution uh, we need e1 power 2 of this d and we can replace d square by minus a square so replace d square by minus a square for the d cube we can write uh, uh, d square dot d 
for d power 4 we can write our d square dot d square and similarly we can convert any power of d into even power 2 and now this is the end of this segment thank you allah hafiz